Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shini here, and today we're going to discuss about XPath Access Part Two. So I have a previous tutorial on XPath Access Part One where I had explained some of the methods of XPath Access. So if you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing to this channel as I'll be putting a lot of free videos on Selenium, Java, Python, API automation, robotics process automation. So it will be very useful for you all to brush up your concepts as well as become uh, automation tester in complete aspect in case you are a manual you can completely switch on to automation it's not at all difficult it's possible and you will also be able to clear the selenium automation interview with a lot of videos which are there on my playlist so please do consider subscribing yeah so today we are looking going to look at the part two of the xpath access so this is a very important topic in terms of xpath so let's get on to the practical part directly so we have seen in a previous session till here, we have seen self, parent, ancestor, preceding sibling. And now we are going to look at the other parts of it. So we are left with, so if you see here, we have left with few of them like child is left, right? We are left with child, we are left with following sibling. These are the two ones which are left out. And let me see if there is anything else left. Sibling, we have covered preceding sibling parent ancestor and self is covered so child following sibling and descendant yeah so these three things are left out so we will be covering it today it's very easy topic guys so it just needs some practice and you just need to understand the syntax and it will be very easy for you all to grasp the concept so i am going to take the same example which i had taken last time so this is a website now let's look into the concept of descendant let's just say central bank yeah, let's just highlight it. So I'm just going to create a text path. I'll use contains method text. And I'm going to say central bank. Right. Now, this is the hyperlink. It's pointing to that. So I want to just go over to its parent. So I'm just going to say slash parent, which we have seen last time. The tag to which I want to go is TD right? because its parent is TD if you see the hyperlink is the central bank element and the parent for it immediate parent is TD so I've gone to its parent TD now I want to find out its sibling now just have a look at this right this is TR this is your row okay this is your row so if I want to find out the following sibling of this TD means Elements which are lying at the same level, but following this element, it will be a 20.05, 21.25, and plus 5.99. So I have to just say following sibling. Okay, but what are the sibling type? It is TD. If you see here, it is giving me four elements: one, two, three, four. So this is how you find out the following sibling. We have seen last time what is preceding sibling. We are just going to see now how to find out the X path. For the following sibling so i'm going to create a list of web element and i'm just going to say central bank following sibling right with i would not find elements by dot xpath put the xpath here and that is it so you have stored the list of the so I'm just going to print out this part. So you can similarly iterate over the following sibling elements here. Like how we have done for preceding sibling. You can similarly iterate. There is not going to be any difference at all. It's just the how to find the xpath. I'm going to show it to you all. Since I've already shown how to iterate over the list. Now the next part is we have to look at the other concept that is child. Okay. So let's look at this now. So if you just remove this part. Okay, now let's do one more thing. Let's go back to its parent again. And let's say TR. So this is the parent tag TR. So does it have any child within it? See TR does it have any child within it? So to do that, we have to just say child and TD tags, right? This TR tag is having five children, right? Because it's having five TD tags, which are a part of this TR tag. It all goes via HTML context actually. If you look at the HTML structure, right, this TR is having these TDs as the components of it. One, two, three, four, and five. These five are belonging to this TR. If I collapse this TR, 
you could see that these five also get collapsed. So these five are a part of TR. So if you want to find the children of that particular element, you just have to use what type of child those tags are. So it's of type TD. So we have used TD here. And this is how we have to find. Again, it's going to be list of web element. So I'm just going to store the XPath and use this same syntax. And here I will just say child. And by dot XPath, I have to use that's it. There is something, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, so this was the example of how to find the child. So this is the second part of this tutorial session. Following sibling we have covered, we have covered child. Now left out is descendant. So descendant is going to be a very important topic because descendant means what are the ones which are descending on that particular line. So let's just go back. Okay, we are at this particular TR tag. Okay. Now let's see if we were to find descendant. Right. But what descendant? So there is no descendant TR tags. Any TD? Yes. So for this parent tags, which is this particular TR, there are five descendants or which are coming below this TR. That is all the TDs. So we have again the same cells. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. These five belong to this TR tag. So this is how you find out the descendants. This is how we have to form the XPath. And here we are going to say descendants. Yeah, I think uh, one more base is missing. Yeah. So this is how you find the XPath access through the usage of the different methods like parent, child, following sibling, preceding sibling or descendant, you just have to follow the path. If you look at here, what I've done, I'll just show you. This was like a normal X path. I just put the syntax forward slash. I've put the type of method that is parent. Then you have to use double colon syntax and then mention what is the tag name we are expecting to reach out to. So for this particular hyperlink, the parent tag was the TD. So I mentioned TD here going one step further, right? Now for this TD, what is its parent tag? It is TR. So I've mentioned TR here. Going one more step further. Now for this TR, what are the descendants within it? Those are all TD types. So I mentioned slash descendant, double colon TD. So hope you understood today's session on these three different remaining methods of XPath access. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't done yet. And please do hit the bell to get upcoming video notifications. So stay tuned for my next video, which will be a continuation of XPath, the different ways of finding XPath, like contains, starts with, ends with. See you in the next session. Thank you so much.